freaking love this music. Hey everybody, it's Psychic Gamer One, and we're, continu we're continuing. Let's play Super Metroid. In the last episode, we started playing, pretty much, and we got here. This is Brinstar. The place looks a lot different than the original. The place I went to was, as I said, was the first screen of the original Metroid. Well, that's the original Brinstar. I also noticed a little error I made at the la end of the last episode. Some, some, just some bad editing on my part. It won't happen again. Rest assured. So let's see what's in here. What are these guys? I think I get to shoot in the head. Shoot it in the head. I'm gonna save myself a couple minutes. That way I won't have to kill it again. And it's another map room. Here's the map room. Red Star. As you can see here, all the way down here, we have a boss. Who it, is, who it is, I will not tell unless you already know. Because in this case, you don't care. But for those of you who don't know, you don't get to find out. Uh huh, I'm a jerk. But again, it doesn't know who that box is. Okay, let's move on. Drop there. Shoot. I didn't want that. I don't have enough missiles to open that door. I need more missiles. No oh, crap, the credits went off, man, I missed. Another missile pack. I think that's the, uh, I want to say third. But I'm not sure. Anyways, we have plenty enough to open the rest of the doors in this room. Probably wonder I'm not going down here, well here's why. That requires a power up I don't have yet. And, uh, don't kill these guys. That's why. Makes the room darker, therefore, much harder to maneuver. And I'm not following my own advice. Missile recharge. Save myself a couple of seconds. There. If you freaking, uh, do. Pause it at the right time just as you hit it. You can skip the just idle scan skill and I'm not buying my own advice again. I listen to myself more often. I have good advice for me. Sorry, I freaking love this music. I'm staying silent because it's awesome. Hey, 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 hey! Leave me alone! Run! Those guys are you can't kill normally. You have to do some nifty stuff to do to kill them. Right. Fall down the hole, yes. Originally, 
Oh yeah, an orange door. That requires a power up we don't have yet. Now I wouldn't call that circuit breaking because you can get that without doing any fancy stuff. You just gotta do a wall jump. So I personally wouldn't call that circuit breaking. I don't know what you guys would say, but quite frankly, it's done. Head down here now. And here we have another missile pack. And another playing of the freaking Metroid Fanfare music. But here's a little trick. Bomb this door bomb this thing right here. And it drops you down to another power-up. This one is new. It's the charge beam. This allows you to, uh, what else? It does this. But the plane charge beam is not that good. You gotta get some more beams. In fact, let me show you the freaking HUD. Or whatever it is. See, there's plenty to grab. So. You'll be doing it for a good couple hours. I've seen some speedruns on this game, and it's just ridiculous. They do it really fast. It's just... Wow. Either way. Crap. I suck at wall jumping today. Holy crap, I'm almost dead. Okay, I'm probably just gonna farm energy here for a bit, so, uh, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, we're back, and now we got farm the missiles. hit to a missile though. So they're not that scary. Ah oh, crap I missed. Oh I missed. And there we go. Got to all of them to open this door. And here's another and here's another boss. It's the spore spawn. This guy's not that threatening if you just sit in the corner right here and stay the ball and wait for his attack pattern is that he moves in like a figure eight pattern. Or infinity pattern if they're the smart asses. Sorry. Uh, freaking Ben, when he's done, he opens his mouth, revealing the core like that. Okay. Almost always safe. And mostly safe. Oh, yeah, green doors, those involve. You need another power up for that, which we're actually about to get here in a minute. But this fight's gonna take a little while, so uh, I might just fast forward this because it's just so tedious. But I'll still keep my commentary, so you get to hear fast forward voice. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, damn it, fast forward voice. At least one dude hitting the same notes on the piano. Could be his or from. Or maybe violin. Okay, stop landing right there. That's actually getting kind of annoying. Yeah, this has got to be fast forwarded. This is just taking too long. Or I can make this a really non progressive part. If you notice, his tone's got to get darker, and he's beginning to move a bit faster. Will that make him open his mouth faster? I'm not sure. You know, any effect I could have had was make the music go faster when he's close to death. That would have been pretty cool. But, eh, I just can't be cheated. See, he's darker, and he's close to dead. Well, he's not close to dead. I'm not sure. So I'll just have to fuck this guy. Without.
stop circuit breaking. Oh. And there's the spore spawn. Really easy boss, but still. A bit tedious. I like how the music's still playing when he dies. Yes, he was a whole room. Fear the mighty room monster. No, it's a spore spawn. And this, you fall through. Here's our next power up. The thing that can open the green doors. The super missile. It's like a missile, but it's a, the equivalent of five. They are very powerful. There's only 50 in the game, so that results in five, ten. Ten packs in a whole game. But look at this. It causes the freaking thing to shake, and it opens green doors. Little fun fact, you can actually open a missile door with a freaking super missile. And looky here. Super missile block. Okay, now that we've got super missiles, we can make some progress. door up here we can meet with some wall jumping but eh we don't even be able to open it up here you have another missile pack that takes us to either 30 or 35 I haven't been counting Open freaking super missile doors with regular missiles. Oh, this place is starting to look like a furnace. Well, we're gonna head back that way, and we have an uncharted room, and it's an energy recharge station. It completely refills your health. So, if you're really low on health, you gotta look out for one of these. There's quite a few in the game. And this is the introduction of water. You need a certain power up to be able to move just fine in that water. It slows you down immensely. See? You can't even jump. By the way, that was not for the sake of a damage basin. That was honestly an accident. Come up here. Come up here. Blow this up. Shoot this out. Go down here. Oh, thank God, we have a super missile. And we have a third power up. The spacer. This is another beam type. Now instead of the freaking one little ball shot, we have. Three short lines. Your the power of it's increased at a higher attack range. Look at this looks neat. Up to the See those and thanks for the super missile. And we're crossing to Meridia. We can't go through Meridia yet because it's the game's underwater level. missile block. I can't go through there yet because, well, I need a power that's in here. So let's go down here. Elevator, elevator, I love the elevator. It makes me blink a lot. I didn't know I 
make you blink on an elevator. This is the fire level. This is Norfair. And this is where I'm going to cut it. So next time on Let's Play Super Metroid, we're going to explore the deep, fiery caverns of Norfair. See you then.